Good morning. We are at Wednesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time, and I'm sure you've noticed that the days are quickly uh, coming to an end for this uh, current year of grace and favor from the Lord. On the first Sunday of December, we will begin another new church year with the beginning of the season of Advent. What I'd like to talk about now before uh, we get too close to Thanksgiving and then all kinds of other activities begin, I'd like to talk just briefly about how do we prepare ourselves to celebrate the season of Advent as it ought to be celebrated. Now we have to remember that the church considers Advent a penitential season, but it's a different type of penitential season from the season of Lent, which is longer in duration anyhow. Uh, the church takes its understanding of Advent really from the uh, coming on the scene and the preaching of repentance uh, by St. John the Baptist. As we know, he is the precursor, the one who prepared the way for the Lord and Jesus' public life uh, it, and eventually his, his crucifixion, death, and resurrection. But as I said, if we look for a moment just at what was St. John the Baptist calling for, that gives us a very good idea of what Advent is and how we really ought to observe this penitential season. He's talking about and calling for a penance of preparation. He's calling for, as we know, repent and be baptized. And uh, his baptism is a baptism of repentance. So he's calling for us to prepare ourselves in the season of Advent uh, for the birth of our Savior as a matter of preparation. But it's preparation not just for Christmas, but it's a preparation that uh, affects our daily lives and how we uh, choose to do good and to avoid evil. And so that really does go beyond just the beautiful solemnity of Christmas. It affects the rest of our lives. And so when we talk about Advent as a penitential season, we're talking about you and me and every other Catholic preparing himself or herself not only to celebrate worthily the solemnity of Christmas, but to, in a sense, uh, transform and reorder the way we live our daily lives of faith so that how we go about our daily prayer, how we uh, engage in works of charity and mercy, how we, uh, from time to time, uh, practice real penance and self-mortification in our daily lives, all of that is helping us uh, in a very real way uh, draw ourselves closer and closer to Christ, attach ourselves and identify ourselves with him in the way we speak, the way we act, the way we even think. And so this Advent season, it's not very long, and this year, due to the calendar, it's three full weeks plus one day. So it's 22 days at the most, but these 22 days should be days of real powerful preparation for you and for me to again celebrate uh, what the Lord has already done for us, but also Advent always points us to the future because it's not only that we celebrate what uh, God has done for us in his great goodness and mercy, but it's also pointing us to the time when he returns to us and we must be prepared for that. We must, in a way, 
transform our lives where they need to be changed and really changed not just you know slight tweaks here and there but what we must give up and get rid of in our lives we do that so that as we progress through the rest of our lives we will not be caught by surprise when the Lord comes to us we will be prepared and so what we do in Advent by way of pr daily prayer uh, works of charity and uh, I, I really would suggest choose one doable form of penance stick to that for each day of Advent and you will find yourself uh, in a very good position to welcome Christ at Christmas but to understand even better that he who came to us as Emmanuel, God with us, truly remains with us to lead us to the Father. And in order for uh, us to be able to follow the Lord, we have to be prepared for him. And so this is how important the Advent season is. It not just begins a new church year, but it really begins a new stage in our lives of faith as we strive to daily live that faith in imitation of Christ. And so uh, I give this then as kind of a, a pre-Advent preview, if you will, of what the Advent season is all about. There are very nice things that will begin to take place uh, in the season of Advent and they have their place but please don't let those things distract you from observing the penitential nature of preparation for Christ that Advent presents to us and gives us a, a grace-filled opportunity to take advantage of and strengthen and foster our own daily lives of faith. So may God bless you in this kind of cold and dreary week of November and let us continue to uh, live the faith in such a way that we do draw closer to Christ in our own daily lives and it will help us help others to do the same.